Hi, this is Mark Gaylor. I'd like to show you around my high impact action that I've created for Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. This action is ideal for increasing the detail, depth and drama in your images. Let's take a look at this portrait image. I've got the actions panel open and I'm going to select the portrait in black and white. I'll just click on the black and white and then click on the play action button. In order to load these actions into the Actions panel, you can just click on the Flyout menu and choose Load Action. OK, so with the Portrait Black and White action selected, I'll just click on the Play button. This is quite a sophisticated action with many steps, so it will take a few seconds to play out on the image. And here we have the increased detail, depth and drama inside of this image. Let's just take a look at a before and after. I'll collapse the Actions panel just by double clicking and then wind back down to the background layer. And I'll just hold down the Alt or Option key and click on that visibility icon to show you the before and after. OK, how did I create this image? OK, let's just uh, click off all of the layers and just show you around what the action is doing. First of all, it's coming in and kicking in a, a, a vignette around the edge of the image to create some subtle darkening effect. And then we've got a black and white conversion. OK, and this will maximize detail in the skin. And then we're going to put in some smooth tones over the next three layers and modify the tonality. This creates a nice foundation for the sharp detail that follows. And this also is pushed over three layers using the shadow highlights adjustment, high pass, and again an another shadow highlights adjustment. Let's just switch those three layers on and there comes in the maximum detail. And then final sharpening for output and also a dodge and burn layer. Now this dodge and burn layer isn't actually doing anything in the action but it sets up the foundation for you to modify some localized tonality. So just select the brush tool from the tools panel and then come in perhaps with an opacity of around about 20% with either black or white as the foreground. Here I've got black as the foreground and I'll just increase some depth around some of the shaded areas of the image like so and across the forehead there. And Now I'm going to switch the foreground background colors so I've got white as the foreground color and I'll just punch a little bit of extra light into those eyes there and perhaps also down onto this cheek on this side of the face. And I'll show you the effect of actually increasing the depth in this image using dodge and burn just by clicking off and on the dodge and burn layer like so. And now we've got the eyes really sparkling. This uh, uh, black and white action also creates a color layer that is switched off but we can add the color back into this image just by clicking on the visibility icon like so to create a color version of the image. The nice thing about the actions that I create also is that we have uh, inside the history panel and if I come to the top of that history panel the action creates a snapshot so if I don't like any of the, uh, the action on this particular image all I need to do is click on that snapshot and we go back to the beginning before any of those adjustment layers were created. OK, let's take a look at the action playing out on another image. So I'll just go back to the Actions panel and uh, now I'll choose uh, an alternative character portrait and here we have a Buddhist monk uh, shot in Kathmandu and this time I'm going to choose the portrait in colour and then just click on the play button and again just a few seconds to add all of those layers which would probably take you 10 or 15 minutes if you knew what you were doing and there we create the maximum drama in this portrait I don't need to do any dodging and burning in this particular image, so the image is complete. Let's take a look at uh, the action played out on a landscape this time. So I'll click on uh, my tab for my landscape image. Let's just uh, collapse the, uh, the panels so we can see the color landscape here. It's quite a dramatic landscape already, but I'm going to maximize the detail, depth and drama using my high impact action. OK, so let's uh, expand the panel one more time and this time we'll come down to the landscape black and white and then click on that play button once again. OK, and let Photoshop weave its magic in association with that action to create a very dramatic black and white 
um, landscape image. Let's just collapse that panel so we can see that image. Okay, maximum detail in the sky and also in the foreground rocks and beach there. Okay, so that basically uh, concludes uh, the, uh, what these actions are capable of doing on your images. Okay, there are a couple of other options inside. Uh, all of these actions uh, come uh, loaded with that single download okay, that's available from markgaylor.com. Uh, we also have some flattened versions here, so if you don't want to interact with the, uh, the, the layers that are left intact by playing the action, all we need to do is click on uh, one of these flatten options and that will go through the entire process and then flatten the image to a finished version for you. For Photoshop Elements users, the action can be accessed through the Guided menu. We just need to come down to the Automated Action section and then click on the Action Player. Now you will need to have installed the action in the Actions folder and instructions on how to do this are downloaded with the action. OK, just click on the Action Player and then from Section 1 choose the High Impact Action and then we can choose the option from the menu too. Here I'm choosing Portrait Black and White and then we can choose to click the play action button and again Photoshop Elements will take several seconds in order to play this action out as there are many layers involved in this action. The action has had to be modified slightly in order to work inside of the Photoshop Elements workspace but the results are exactly the same and here we have that post-processed high-impact uh, action played out onto this portrait image.